Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Avrangel, and we're doing a bit of a bush trip today. We're taking out Carolina's Cessna 170 Bravo, the Tundra version, and it is a very light and breezy day today. We've got some pretty spicy winds, so it's going to be fun. Uh, we're looking at about 30 knots of wind here from about 300 degrees, so it's going to make things exciting for us. As you can see, the grass there moving. Um, we are heading on a little multi-leg when I find my mouse. Adventure, you can hear the wind howling. God, look at the grass there. That is a nice feature in the sim I hadn't seen before. Okay, so we're in the aircraft now. We're gonna power up systems and just check on some matters. So we've already fueled up. We are good to run for this trip. So it should be a nice, simple job for us. So let's get our fuel in here. First time I'm taking this on a bit of a cross country trip. So hopefully it'll be fun for everybody. Let's make sure everything's looking good here. Okay. Let's hit the primer a couple of times. There we go. And we'll go for a start. Let's make sure the brakes are held. Good, clean start. Alternators on and avionics are on. Okay, we're looking good. Now we have a little three-legger today. We're heading down to Davidson Strip, which is by Willow, and then heading down to Parker Lake. And if we have time, we'll head back up towards Talkeetna. Now Talkeetna, where we're starting out from today, is a gorgeous little strip. If I'm actually tabbed into the right window, there we go. This one's an add-on scenery. I'll have the links for any sceneries I fly into in the bottom of the video, so you guys can enjoy these too. The jet seems a little out of place, but Talkeetna is at the convergence of three rivers. We have the uh, the Sasinta, I'm probably mispronouncing that one, the Chilinta, and the Talkeetna rivers. Now they all join southwards into the Sasinta River. Again, not a native of the area, so I'm mispronouncing things horribly, but it should be a nice little day out. But it's going to be spicy in terms of our wind here, so we need to be very careful. Now, just pulling up my charts here for Talkeetna. Our runway options are 1 and 19. So we're going to need runway 19 for this, which is going to give us about a 10, 12 knots crosswind component, which is more than manageable. So we'll be going with that. Let's make sure our radios are turned on here. Set ourselves to a VFR transponder frequency. Or transponder code, I should say. Okay. Looking good. Alright, let's put the parking brake in and let's head ourselves out towards 1-9. Little bit of power. Let's get ourselves out here. Oh, hello. That's grass. That's the taxiway there. There we go. <laughs> this thing's very squidgy to fly, I must say. I do quite like it for that reason, though. Okay, so this should be our runway departure. There we go. A taxi down here, and we'll get ourselves moving. Now, you'll notice the instrumentation is very simple in the 170. We've got our basics here. Um, and I do mean basics. You know, we have airspeed, we have artificial horizon, altitude, our vertical speed. We've got RPM. We've got engine instruments, and we do just about have one VOR head. But that's kind of about it, in terms of what we're looking at here. Very, very simple otherwise. It's about all we actually have. We've got a gyro compass there. That's our only option here. So, crosswind's almost going to be direct. Look at that windsock there. That is blowing a gale. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. The wind wants to turn me to the side already. Okay, we're coming to the end of the runway now. Talking to traffic, uh, Cessna November 403 CRX ray, entering 19 for departure to the southwest. Alright, I'm going to give myself. With this crosswind level, I'm not going to have flaps. We've got a long runway, we'll be okay. Kicking up some dust here, actually. 
that's yeah going to be almost a direct crosswind here from three zero. Oh, come on, little baby, let's go. All right, let's see how she wants to fly. Let's get the tail up ASAP. Woo! Hello, that's windy. That's windy. Woo! Tail dragger plus windy was not pleasant experience. Damn. That is spicy. This baby wants to run away. Get full power here and try and counter that. Kick the rudder pedals. Oh, God. Uh, well, we're airborne. Um, that was different. Um... That was a lot more spirited than I hoped for and I nearly struck a wing, but yeah, this is a very light aeroplane, not a huge amount of power, and we had a lot of wind there kicking us sideways. In fact, can we see back behind us? We can't, but we can do it this way. Look at how much we're shaking already. Yeah, we're going well off course here with that wind. Right, let's try and get back on course here. We're heading for David's trip. Now this is going to make for a very interesting landing and how we get out of here will be another matter entirely. There we go. Let's pull our power back and just get the aircraft comfortable here for a cruise. Should be about five to seven minutes for us to Davidson. So not a long trip here, but I get the impression this is going to be a very spirited trip. So I think we may be looking at our two stops at Davidson and then at uh, Parker Lake. So we're heading over to Sacinta River there. And we've got a bit of light rain kicking in here. God, that's pretty. Yeah, so we need to be very alert as to our wind directions here now. Let's look up Davidson Strip. What have we got? Please have a favourable runway heading. Okay, runway 20 and 2. Okay, we can work with that. Dirt surface, not very big. So we're going to have to be very careful with this. Looking at the surface on the maps, we have 600 feet to play with by 74 feet. So this is going to get interesting real quick, but it should be a fun one regardless. Oh my god. <laughs> that takeoff from Takito was enough to wake me up without coffee. There we go. Notching a little trim. It's a good job I didn't use flaps on that takeoff because that would make me too light, too much lift too soon, and I would have definitely gotten a bit squirrely. When you're dealing with very heavy crosswinds, in fact, 30 knots is already pushing past uh, max demonstrated on a Cessna 170. So you need to be very careful. In high winds, flaps will be a negative thing. A lot of these small aircraft can happily take off with no flaps, and in high winds, flaps just make you lighter before you're ready to fly. And I can feel this aircraft skidding sideways through the cloud. This is ridiculous. So I'm going to put a little bit of rudder in here. Just to keep us straight. There we go. That should keep us on course. Now as we fly. I will say I've fallen in love with this aircraft from Coronado. It is a great little plane and I can't wait to see what they do with the 185. In the new simulator. Yeah. I oh man, it's pretty. It's a Cessna tail dragger. That's just gorgeous. Look at that thing. Man, I love that. Okay, so. Let's keep ourselves on course. Keep a little bit of rudder in here just to make sure we can manage this. We're looking for the lake at Park. Not Parker, sorry, at Davidson. That'll be our main feature for approach. Shouldn't be too far out either. At least the camera points are useful here. It's a flight plan. I've noticed some flight plan weirdness recently in this sim. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, I'm heading off course. Hello. 
need to quickly level us out and quickly check on this. Zero AK-3. Okay. That's what we need to see. Zero AK-3. Return ourselves on course and we'll put the flight plan back away. Now, stupid GPS screen. Just show me the map. Thank you. Maps are very useful in Alaska. So, zero AK-3. Zero AK-3. I will plug this into my Garmin pilot when I get a chance. So, tap to edit flight plan. It's almost like I'm using the one that's in this aircraft as well, which is the funny part. So, change destination to zero a K3 Parker Lake add on route waypoint of 45 AA pretty sure 45 AA is where we were just going from or heading to no, we need to put it in by name Davidson. Yeah, there it is, 45 AA. Okay, so we have our flight plan set in here. Now, Parker Lake, if I look that up real quick, is going to come in as a 1,000 foot by 40 foot runway, which is 1432. This is perfect for us because we actually, and that's gravel, so we have a straight into the wind approach there. So I think the lake is just ahead in the distance for us here. give it a little bit of rudder to counteract the wind. This is really spicy. This is much windy than I thought. I'm using one of the uh, Weather Preset Pro weather settings here for uh, bright and gusty. And I guess this is exactly what they meant by bright and gusty. It is very much that. And it is a wild, wild day out. So we shouldn't be too far out now from Davidson. Keeping my eyes peeled for the lake. Just cruising about 2,000 feet here, which is more than enough. We're high enough above the terrain and kind of scared for our approach, but we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. This wind is terrifying, though. Genuinely scared of this. Problem is, it's taking longer because we're flying into a 30 knot headwind, which is making us look like we're going faster, but if I zoom in on here, is it showing me a actual so we're doing 93 it says 110 oh, it's, oh we just lost a lot of speed there yeah this will be the gusts we're dealing with that's a really cool feature that we have the synthetic vision page which Garmin Pilot does actually have which is super cool So we should be approaching now. I think that could be us up ahead. No, that's the lake off to the right of the flight path. Yep, so that is the lake we're heading to there, right ahead of us. So that should be just off our nose. So not this one, but this one here. Which puts the airport in this vicinity. We'll keep our eyes peeled for it. That's the thing I love the most about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, and I know I add 2020 as a monkey to differentiate it from the whole series Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's our lake ahead of us. It's The airports are no longer a green square that you can see from 20 miles out. you got to look for these things. They are not easy to spot. Let's get ourselves down a little bit lower here. This wind is going to be a pig. Okay, so that will be our lake ahead of us. So we'll sight the airfield, we'll work out our directions, and we'll make our approach. So right now we're basically we're on 240. Our runways here at Davidson Strip are going to be 20 and 02. So I'm expecting the runway to basically be off our heading that way, so laterally. So it should be a lower crosswind component than we've had before, but it's not going to be fantastic. Feels like everything's taking forever in this wind. 
but sometimes these are conditions you get in places like Alaska and if the plane will fly you gotta go flying we're getting shaken around something chronic here oh my god <laughs> this is probably gonna be one of the more interesting landings that takeoff was unpleasant Oof, I just felt myself get a jolt there and a drop. To keep our power up here, actually. We'll probably drop power very quickly. Let's see what actually it does. So, power off. And speed's falling away. Yeah, we've got plenty of deceleration in this. Let's try and find the airport, shall we? And I just we're scudding sideways here. I could feel it. So, we're looking for 270 now, so... Maybe the runway will be more that way than I thought. So we're heading more into that wind. And with 30 knots, we should always be able to hover on and into the wind heading. Where are you? Where are you, Davidson Strip? Is it a little bit further south on the lake here? Or is that it down there? Okay, that's tiny. If that's where we're heading, that's tiny. Oh, lordy, this is going to be fun. Yep, that looks like our strip. <laughs> oh, man, this is about to get interesting. Let's give myself some nose into the wind so you can see this out my window. Yep, that's our strip. Okay. Okay. Yep, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be real interesting. Okay. I'm going to get in and out of here in this wind. <laughs> oh, man. This is about to get unpleasant. Oh, time to buckle up and kiss your ass goodbye. We're going to make a low approach and see how the plane behaves here. Let's bring her around. Let's just see what the plane wants to do on approach. Come on, come around. There we go. So that's our strip. So coming over this row of trees here, over the point of the inlet. I'm getting blown that way, so... It's going to be interesting. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Okay. Look at those waves. Oh my god. Look at that. That is white tipped and choppy. Never seen the water look so angry in Flight Simulator before. This will make an approach. If we can't actually make it stick, we'll continue on to Parker Lake. I don't want to do anything too dangerous, but I'm getting the feeling this is going to be a spicy adventure. Just getting it on the ground here will be tough, I think. Okay. Ease her around. Okay, so we want to do our 180 degree turn here. Fly out a little bit further so we can get ourselves settled on the heading. Time is your friend flying an aeroplane. If you rush anything, it will go sideways in a hurry. Okay, where are we at? Keep turning, keep turning. Come on. There we are. So, a little bit down here. Okay, we're on a good approach now. And we're going to, have to turn it into the wind here. So we'll put some power on. 
Oh my god, this is choppy. Power on. We're being blown. Come on. Little bit more power. There we go. Little bit more rudder. That's it. That's a good girl. Come on. We're too fast. And that hill's concerning. Uh, I'm not going to make it into this in this wind. No, nope, not a chance. On to Parker's Lake. No, that's too short. The terrain is too difficult because with the way the wind's blowing we're looking at the terrain on the side I'm being blown towards so I'm being blown, blown towards that cliff face and that cliff face will have a lot of turbulent air now I'm having to keep crabbing into the wind away from that cliff face which means if I get blown off course slightly I'm heading towards that terrain very quickly um, I have to basically nail my touchdown at the very start of that runway to make it even stop here and that's asking a lot. There are a lot of things I have to get right here, and it's a flight sim. It would be good if I just went for it to see if I can do it, but I try my best to fly realistically as if I'm in the real plane and my consequence actions have consequences. So if I don't think I can make something, I'm not going to attempt it. It's too dangerous. I fly like I fly. I'm going to fly safely. 600 feet strip is difficult ish not that bad in a tail dragger with big flaps but it's difficult enough couple with that trying to fly extreme crosswind approach it's not worth the risk so we know Parker Lake Parker's Lake has got any fairly should we say compliant runway heading now this leg should be more than 10 minutes for us and we should get there in no time whatsoever. Like I said, we have runway 3, 2 and 14. It's a thousand feet of gravel, so should be better. Now I don't think I have scenery for this one, but end of the day, I will take it. So our distance should be about 7.8 miles, so not very far at all. But at least we'll survive this landing. I just don't think uh, Davidson Lake are getting their uh, mail today. No, the plane wants to be able to leave. I think my biggest concern was flying into Davidson Lake. If I went in there, I could probably push it and make it. But the chance of me getting out again, a zero. With how squirrely this little light aeroplane is taking off in a strong crosswind, I have no confidence that I would make it out of that runway. That is my big concern. I would not make it out. No way. I'd hit something, a tree or terrain. I would not make it off that runway. Know your limits. Okay, so... We shouldn't be too far away now from Parker's Lake. Let's take a look here. Yep, there it is. Just off the screen. Oh, so for those of you curious about the Carinado features, if you click here on the letters, you get your wonderful little Carinado should we say options page which lets us have the co-pilot or just the pilot although I do wish I was a grumpy grandpa flying this plane and I was actually you know the selectable in-sim pilots but Carinado don't roll that way okay so we're coming up on the airport now let's try and sight it looking for a thousand feet of gravel Okay, so it should be on the far side of the lake. Car beat on, throttle out. Okay. Where are you? Is that it directly below us? Still so windy. My god. Yep, that's looking like our runway there. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. 
steep short field approach over trees. Aw, oh, man. Why do you have to do this to me? Uh. Okay, looks like we're going to die today. Everyone strapped in? Kissed your ass goodbye? Cool, me too. We're doing this thing. Okay, so we're heading from way 3 2, so that'll be a turn around and come back. I'm going to have to try and make an approach here. But we are landing here no matter what. I've got choices of no obstructions and tailwind, or hella obstructions and headwind. I'll take hella obstructions. Alright, it's going to turn around here. Oh, Nelly. Where's that lake? Come on. There's the field. Okay, let's hover this baby in. I don't know where my approach is. I can't see it yet. Unless that sits straight ahead. Is that it straight ahead of us? I think it is. Oh, hello. Come on, nice and easy. That doesn't look like a runway to you, does it? That does not look like a runway. No, the runway's down there. It's just not there. There it is. All right, baby. Let's get this thing in. Come on. Those are trees. Those are trees. Those are trees. Uh, this is unpleasant. Come on. Over the trees. Over the trees. Over the trees. I need to stall it. No, I can't stall it. I've got to go around. I'm not making that. Uh, that is horrible. Who designed that? I mean, the 100 foot flights of trees don't freaking help, do they? That is a dive down to a runway that I'm not going to make. Let's try and analyze this. What can I do here? Those trees are huge. I... I can try landing uphill. It's my only real chance of actually making this thing stick. I mean, it's not a direct crosswind, but it's not great. Or tailwind, sorry. But landing downhill like that is going to be next to impossible. I can try the uphill. We'll see what will happen. Uh, this is not nice at all. I'm in danger. <laughs> Why do I put myself through this? I don't know. For your entertainment, I hope. For your entertainment, I hope. <laughs> okay. Um, so my flaps are out by a notch. Keep an eye on the headland there, which is our reference point for the approach. We're flying into the wind now, which is why we're going so slowly, but we're also dealing with a sloped runway and an insane approach to it, which is likely only accessible when it's not wind this windy. So this also may kill us, but we're going to try our best. Okay. Are we far enough away? Let's try this, shall we? The headwind at least turn us, slow us down here. Let's turn it in. Let's drop some altitude. We're a little bit 
close in, I think, here. We're way too close in, so we'll just go around again. I am going to stick this before we finish. I will promise you that. I will stick this landing. I promise you that. I just need a longer approach. The wind catches me and throws me too close towards it too quickly. We'll take it out of it here. We'll backtrack to where we came. And it's just the annoying upwind leg here, which is now meant to be our downwind. But there you go. Our downwind is now our upwind because the nature of terrain tells us we have to. Although I could land on a beach and just hike to the camp. That's quickly becoming my per preferred thought. Look how slowly we're going. Look at this. This is how slow we're moving. Okay. Right. We'll slowly turn crosswind here. We'll side slip down to get rid of some altitude. So we've got a little bit less energy to conserve. bring it in across the trees here this is going to be the time I promise you, we'll do it so there's our runway let's put some flaps down let's turn on course here what concerns me is how fast I move as soon as I turn on runway heading Oh, this is not nice. Oh, this is unpleasant. These trees are too tall. There's no feasible way in here. There is no feasible way in here. Looks like we're taking a field. We're taking a field. I will hike to the camp, but we are stopping here. There's just no way I can get in there. That's not possible. I don't think in this wind or any wind. Unless you're flying a super cub, you're not making it into that field. Okay, let's bring her around. Yeah, you get very used to hearing a store horn in planes like this. Okay, I like the look of the beach on the far side of the lake there. It's into the wind. And it will work. With that slow heading into the wind, we should be fine. We're almost at a perfect upwind heading right now. We should be able to absolutely hang this thing on the propeller. How we get out of there, I don't know. But we'll make it. We'll decide that afterwards. Okay, I'm picking this bit to the left. Looks like we've got a longer rollout. In reality, I'd want to make a couple of flyovers, check the surface. But in flight sim, I know it's manageable. Let's get flaps down. We'll go full flaps for our approach here. No, you won't. No, you won't. Come on, slow down. Good aeroplane. Good aeroplane. Good aeroplane. Good aeroplane. That's it. Come on. Beautiful. Whoa, hello. A little rocky. <laughs> Let's get those flaps pulled in so we aren't kited around by the wind. Let's cut my fuel there. <sighs> that is unpleasant, but it gives you a different challenge as a pilot in terms of what you've got to do. Look at those waves. Holy crap. The size of those things. That is insane. 
Oh, I love how my camera's rotated around like a mm, crazy thing. Look at this. That is insane. I didn't know there was that much water wave. That looks unpleasant. It's like on a lake as well. That's a good half a meter of swell. That's pretty impressive. Didn't know the sim did that, but look at the size of these trees. There's two there right on the approach path to the actual airfield. Right in the face of it. Like, they are bang on center line. Like, you'd cut those down. Maybe you cut that one down, that one in front of it, you'll be fine. You'll make your approach, but... Getting in deer otherwise, with out it being a super cub, pretty hard. But we'll make it to cabins. We'll get them their mail. We'll just have to uh, hike around the lake a little bit. But I think I'm rather happy to be on the ground now. Departure. We should be able to take off this way and make it out just fine if we take off along that direction. Or even that way. It just depends what the wind wants to do and we'll get out. But thank you for watching and I need to go change my pants now. Bye.